Are you ready to install this four hour timer with me? Let's do it. Before I go any further now, I've got to figure out where the studs are, where this is going to be relocated, or not relocated, but where the new timer is going to be installed. And uh, I've got to figure out right here where this stud is. So the easiest way is I can take a little nail here, like an eight penny nail, and I'm going to tap it in right on the edge here because there's either two by four right there or there's one over here. And I've got to find that out. Okay, there's something right there. And that's where I was hoping it was. I was hoping it's, it's hollow over here, but I'm still going to try. Good. Nothing there. So I know there's nothing there. And that's a good thing. See how close that plug is there? Now that plug we can still keep right there, that's fine. But do you see why I want to get this over as far as possible? I can't get it way over here because if there's a stud in our way, I'd have to drill, I'd have to cut a hole way over here, drill a hole through that, fish it over to there, and we'll see. But I just want to first see where my layout is and what I can do. Because you know what? Maybe we can go over here. I'll explain that in a minute. Before we go too much further, obviously we got an air conditioner right here. Well, usually when they frame this out, there's a double stud that will be located over here going on down, and it'll probably be a double stud. There's probably a double stud right here going down, okay? And then there's probably another stud in here somewhere. I don't know exactly which way they laid out the wall. We still got to find that out, and I'll show you how to find that, but I know I'm not going to be able to put this cut-in box too close to right here because there's probably a double stud right there so the best case scenario I can get it over this far and I'll have to line it up with this other plug height over here so I make them the same height because that's always nice to do because I want to get out of this corner as far as possible just in case they have it they put a TV or an armoire here in the corner I don't want them having to reach walk over here like this and reach way back there to reach the timer. I mean, that's not going to that's that's not going to be any good, is it? People people will complain about that. So that's why I've got to get this over as far as possible. Does that make sense? And I like I say, this is where the timer is going to be to turn it on and off. The plug, the plug can still stay over there. We, I don't care about that. You don't have to reach that if you got a chair here in the corner, a table here, um, an end table a lamp, whatever. So follow me with this whole thought process because you're going to have to go through this on your project. I don't know the layout of yours. I'm telling you all the, all the things that are going to come into play for you to realize before cutting the hole. Because you don't want to cut a hole first and then, and then say, oh, I should have cut it here instead of there. Oh, shoot, I hit, I hit a stud right there. Now i got to patch that because i got to move this plug over, this cut-in box over, because I'm hitting the stud. Oh, shoot. I knew I couldn't do this. I shouldn't have done this. You know, I don't want you having to do all that kind of stuff. You follow these steps, and you, too, can be like Joe. Now, here's another way to check on the studs. You can kind of tap on the wall. Here it's kind of a low, hollow noise. If I go over this way, it's a higher pitch noise, and I know that's right where the stud is. But from this to this way, where that is, it still sounds hollow. That tells me that they might have put screws on this stud, and they might have went over here and put screws over here. Maybe they missed the screws here, because this should be a higher pitch noise. See, that sounds hollow right there. But when I actually ran my, uh, my stud finder on there, 
it found something in the wall there. So I've, I'm, I'm almost 100% sure that there's a stud right there. So I have to take that. I could start probing holes in here with a little nail or something like that, but, but then I've got to patch that. I've got to caulk it and paint it and, and something. I want to try to make this so it doesn't even look like I was here. That's the whole object of this entire process is when you get done with this job, I don't want anyone to know, oh yeah, there, there, he, he, he did it, see, right there, he made a mistake and he had to patch that and he found a stud right there and, and here's some paint all slopped over here. Well, you know, when I get all done, hopefully I don't have to do any painting, hopefully I don't get any smudge marks on the wall or anything like that, you know? That's, that's what I'm trying to show you here.